Hi, I'm Chuck Perugia. Uh, I work for the San Francisco Fire Department. I'm a training officer. Uh, I've been with the department for 33 years. Uh, I'm now the proud owner of three brand new globals, eight by eights. This is our last uh, inspection. Been here uh, six times for these rigs and uh, we're really excited about having these in our fleet. The capacities, of course, are amazing, but what we love the most now is the, uh, I think, the telematics to be able to see what's going on from your laptop is something that's very different compared to our legacies. Um, I mean, the uh, K-Factor is kind of a fun tool as well. And of course, the ATRET is just absolutely fantastic with no need to use the uh, high idle switches all the time. It just does everything for you. It's, it's user friendly, super fast, two engines, over 1500 horsepower. Uh, I don't even know how much else to talk about. There's so many things on this rig that are brakes, disc brakes instead of drums. It's just uh, it's an amazing rig. Like you can tell there's been a lot of engineering and a lot of thinking that was involved in it. And uh, I just hope our firefighters back in San Francisco appreciate all the hard work. <laughs> so here we are inside the cab of the new Global 8x8. And uh, it's user friendly. It's a little bit similar to our legacies, but different positioning. So it won't be a drastic change for our drivers. I think uh, with a little bit of uh, training, maybe a few days, they should be able to jump into this rig and be able to operate it just as good as they do the legacies. And once they find out how, how much more user friendly it is, I think they're gonna like it a lot more. Um, it's, it's about as quiet as it can be in this rig. That's another thing that I love is when you're in pump, high flow, low flow, it doesn't matter. You, 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 it's a more of a visual now than it is anything. Before you'd hear the pump screaming and from inside this cab, it's so quiet. So I can imagine if you're on the airfield and there's a uh, jet engine right in front of you, you're probably not going to hear it as much as before, which is going to be kind of nice when you're on the radios communicating. Uh, just amazing rig. Here we are at the back of our Global, and I mean, there's nothing much more powerful than this, I think, out there. You have two Scania 770 horsepower engines situated right next to one another, and uh, one could operate your drive shaft while the other one is operating the pump, so you could put it in pump at just about any speed if you let off the, uh, the throttle, which is incredible. So there's, there's a power di uh, divider, which is totally new that the legacies don't have. And I think that's probably the heart of this beast right here. Without that, you wouldn't be able to do that, uh, put it in pump at any speed. And that, that also saves a lot of thinking, you know, worrying about RPMs and stuff. So I think the drivers are gonna really love that. We're back here to the front of the uh, rig. I like to brag about our turrets. We uh, have a turret that's capable of 1,250 GPM on our bumper turret and has low attack or high attack. We also have a uh, turret at 1,000 GPM on our ATRET, which can be positioned at 30 degrees of center in either direction. And compared to what we have now, it puts out about a twice as much distance, twice as much flow. So it is. A lot of fun to play with. This rig was special ordered with a separate FLIR system. Besides for the FLIR that came with the A-tread on the top of the turret, we have another one mounted to the cab. So that way you could get heat uh, temperature readings and not have to uh, withdraw the piercer out of the fuselage to retake temperatures. This FLIR is much more user friendly and has many more features on it than our previous FLIRs. And I think it's uh, another highlight of the rig that I think people are going to love. I just want to express how much I really appreciate how much Oshkosh does to uh, make these rigs. And uh, that's it for today. Thanks, guys, for listening.